What's up guys, John from Sage Dynamics, and today I wanted to talk about slings and sling management. So before we get started, I wanted to talk about the purposes of slings. The purpose of a sling to me is to retain the rifle, carry the rifle, uh, it can be used for stability in certain situations and also weapons retention in certain situations. Now the types of slings, there are three different types of slings. There's a three point, the two point, and the single point. The three point sling is pretty outdated and you don't see them a lot anymore. And it's also because they are, they're pretty bad. Uh, they're not something I would want to wear anymore. And I did in the army, I got issued one and it was horrible. Uh, the three-point sling also makes you into a spider and you start making webs. The two-point sling, or the, yeah, the two-point sling is what I prefer and the reason I do is because depending on where it's mounted, you can get maximum leverage on and controllability out of the rifle when it's slung. And, uh, and if you think about a crane and a crane carrying beams or lifting beams, it doesn't lift them from a single point it lifts them from two different points that are connected to the crane. And that is for stability and the leverage to lift those things. Um, and then there's a the single point sling. And the single point sling is, to me, for sub guns, smaller rifles, carbines, things like that. And it's, <laughs> unless you wanna be a grandfather clock with something longer and it's swinging, swinging around like a pendulum, uh, I don't think single point slings are for rifles. Now, why do I choose a two-point sling, I, I choose it because of leverage. Uh, the biggest thing, like we spoke about before, is leverage on the gun, controllability of it when it's slung. And I think that's something that is underrated when it comes to slings. And uh, the other thing is stability. You could use it for stability against barricades, things like that. Uh, the lack of knee injuries that I can get, man, that'll save you for the future at least. And then uh, also the ability to put it behind my back and stow it so that I can actually carry things like barrels or litters or anything like that. And some people will, won't like that method, but it is a method. Um, now, what, how do I use my two-point sling? I get asked that quite a bit. And the way I always explain it is almost like a holster. And bear with me because I know everybody's gonna freak out. Oh, a sling's not a holster. But with this holster analogy, I can come across and actually explain to you how I use my sling. Now, I like to see it in a storage mode, as it's in right now, or a work mode, where it's extended all the way out. And I have maximum slack so that I have all the motion or mobility I need out of the rifle. Now, the holster analogy comes in where this is like it's holstered in storage mode and then when it's extended in work mode that's when that's when it's actually out of the holster and actually being used now storage mode what do you need storage mode for storage mode so i can use both my hands like i'm talking to you guys with both my hands uh and the gun's not swinging around and trying to hit me in the knees and attack my feet the the other reason I like the ability to use two hands is so that I can put up targets and storage mode helps me do that. Load mags and drink water, etc. Anything you need to do with two hands, you can do it in storage mode for the most part. Unless you need to carry something huge, which that behind the back method would help. And you can carry something closer to the body and actually get enough you know, leverage underneath it to lift it. Now, a lot of people get a little hung up on that one, but don't worry about it. The work mode, work mode is for anything I need to use my gun for. Two hands, fighting, high porting, whatever you need to do, sucking it in to get around corners, all those different things you do with a rifle and you need the mobility for it, you have that when you put it in work mode. Now, sling sizing. Now I get, I get questions about it and I'm sure I'm going to, is what type of sling and how do I size my sling? I size my sling when it is in storage mode. So I size it to my body, close enough to my body, in storage mode, that it doesn't dangle too much, but if I needed to, I can still bring it up and actually still aim the gun and shoot accurately. And then 
eventually get to my work mode where I can get the full mobility out of my sling. The, that's the way I size it. And it'll differ per person, but it's also useful to know that my work mode reaches all the way out to the end and I don't stop it at a certain notch. And that's for a reason, because I wear different clothes. I wear body armor, I wear jackets, and I don't wanna to have to notch it or make different parts or different portions to wear when I wear different things. So just be aware of that. And the type of sling I use is a way of the gun proctor sling. Why? Because it's awesome. Uh, if any of you know my background, I spent a lot of time with Frank and he showed me an amazing sling that he came up with. It has no slack hanging off, no random dingle dangles or fabric or any of that bullshit hanging around. There's just a slider, two points to attach it, and you can attach it to anything with what it comes with, the 550 cord ends, and you have the sizing up here. What more do you need? Now, people like their cool convertible slings, and those are awesome for certain situations, but for the way I mount my slings, it doesn't do any good for me because those convertible ones that go from single to two point usually attach here, and I don't like it attached there. So, that's preference. I'm John with Sage Dynamics. Train like your life depends on it.